Your life's a joke, you're broke, your love life's DOA. No? Anyways, Matthew Perry's back on TV. Go On is the name of the show. Matthew Perry, our old friend, back on TV where he belongs in a sitcom. This one, as a guy who has recently lost his wife and how he's dealing with that, both as he goes about his job as a sports broadcaster, as well as dealing with this new support group that he finds himself in with a bunch of misfits. And that's kind of the premise. That's where we go. Really, the essence of whether or not you're going to like Go On comes down to whether or not you're going to like Matthew Perry. As for me, I love it. I loved him on Friends. Uh, Chandler was always my favorite part of that show. I loved him on Studio 60 and the Sunset Strip. I even loved him on whatever that show was that got canceled last year that was a sitcom that he was on. I thought that was great. So I'm obviously a little out of my mind because nobody watched those shows. Maybe somebody will watch this one because I think it's really funny and really clever. And aside from Matthew Perry and his sense of humor, which I really dig, I think there's a lot of fun, interesting characters that they've surrounded him with in this show that all have kind of their little quirks and personalities that really make for an interesting universe to explore. I would dare compare it to community a little bit. Just that idea of this group of people that you can just sense are different and unique and different from each other but somehow are going to gel together to kind of learn lessons together. It just feels like that in a lot of ways. And at the center of it is Matthew Perry and his sense of humor and I I love it. It is something I totally get. Uh, after the first few episodes of Go On, you can tell that there are some real interesting angles to explore here. It's not just about the humor. There is also this real sense of loss, and it gives you this poignancy to counterbalance a lot of the over-the-top humor. Uh, there are some real interesting poignant messages here about how do you go on with your life after you've lost somebody that you're that close to? How do you handle that? What kind of things do you have to deal with? Uh, it's not crazy, make you cry in depth kind of stuff, but it is, huh, that's got a little bit of heart to it kind of stuff, and I really appreciate that. So if you're into Matthew Perry, if you think he's a funny dude, you're gonna love Go On. If not, there might even still be a little bit something here for you.